And mean still sells to some people. Let's bring in Joe Lieberman here. Uh, Dominic, you're up there uh, near uh, Connecticut. This guy did everything but stand on the head of, uh, of uh, John McCain, cheering him. He was as, as, as loyal as Lindsey Graham, which is pretty damn loyal to John McCain. He stood there while the Democratic candidate for president was disgraced as a, or attacked as a socialist and worse. Uh, and he was all part of that, not just on issues he cares about, but everything. And here he is back in the fold for given two weeks. What do you make of it? Well, some of Senator President elect Obama's supporters, Chris, may say that uh, they may feel alienated with the fact that, that the president elect is not punishing uh, Senator Lieberman. But, you know, one could make a case that it shows that our new president that he's not vindictive, you know, as he starts into office. The campaign is the past. And perhaps we should take the new president at his word here. Uh, one aspect that he's really trying to be bipartisan. The other is how you started this segment, calling, uh, mentioning that race that Senate race. Democrats, they're trying to get to 60. There's still these three races to be decided. And Democrats may not like this, but they still need Lieberman right now. And so it might be counterproductive to go after him. Well, you know, uh, George Washington, Chris, uh, executed the spy in, the, uh, in that case. Benedict Arnold case, Lieutenant Andre, and nobody liked to do it because he was a good guy, but he had to do it to prove his authority. Doesn't at some point Barack Obama have to say loyalty counts? I think he does, Chris, but I, I think Dominic's right on this one. I think if Barack Obama is going to try and make good on this post-partisanship that he ran on that was clearly very appealing to the American public, I don't think one of his first acts should be uh, to say, well, or he thinks one of his first acts should be to say, well, this guy was against me in the race. He spoke out against me. We should throw him out of the caucus, I think. It's, Name I think another it's, Democrat who's ever done it, a Republican who's ever campaigned on the other side besides Zell Miller. Who's disappeared? I, Who else has done this? I don't I've disagree, never seen Chris. It. I don't disagree with you, but the historical precedent. All I'm suggesting is I think it is in Obama's political interest to welcome Lieberman back for the point Dominic made, both because it speaks to the postpartisanship, but also because there remains an outside shot, and it is an outside shot, but it's a shot nonetheless that Democrats could wind up winning in Alaska, winning in Minnesota, and winning in Georgia on December 2nd, and they add Lieberman to that, and all of a sudden they've got 60. I, I don't think you upset that apple cart, especially if the president elect says, Let's welcome him back. So you would count on Joe Lieberman to override a filibuster? Maybe not every time, Chris, but he's yeah. going to vote with Democrats okay, more than Okay, we'll be right back, guys. I said to start the show, unity bites. It does hurt. Nice isn't always nice. We'll be right back with Chris Celeste and Dominic Carter.